cute little surprise. So my mom was sending over some Christmas gifts for the kids, which I knew about, but they got me a little gift, so I put it under the Christmas tree. It's our first gift for the Christmas tree. I've literally been just like folding laundry all morning. I have to go switch another load that I have in the washer and in the dryer. I'm gonna do some dishes before I pick up the girls. I swept the kitchen, vacuumed the living room, vacuumed my bedroom, made my bed, folded laundry. I haven't really done anything else. I did get dressed for the day though, so let me go show you my outfit. I'm wearing my Bad Moms Club hoodie. I'm also wearing my Bad Moms Club Keeping It Real t-shirt, the new one I just showed you guys. I'm also wearing some mom jeans. I really like these. These are from Classy Lady Boutique on Instagram. And of course, my Vans. I'm planning on making caldo de pollo later tonight. I was gonna make it yesterday, but Julio had texted me. He said he was craving takeout and we ended up having Dairy Queen. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I missed from yesterday, but I don't think so. I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the evening just because we had our takeout and then they messed up on Julio's order. He had to go back. He came home. I don't remember what we watched because we finished all our shows <laughs> and we just hung out in the room. I asked you guys on Instagram last night to ask me <laughs> what kind of pictures you wanted to see. There's like this challenge going around. I'll insert it right here for you guys. last night and yeah that's it I will check in with you guys a little bit later peace you guys I realized I haven't been showing you cupcake and Jack um, they're just in my giant mason jars the girls found them this morning all right guys it is time to cook some caldo de pollo for those of you that don't speak Spanish caldo de pollo is Mexican chicken soup I've got my chicken over here I cut half of an onion celery carrots i had some frozen yellow squash that i cut last time that i made caldo de pollo and then i also cut some potatoes the only seasonings that i'm going to be using is some chicken bouillon some oregano leaves and garlic powder also salt to taste but i will do that at the very end i'm going to go ahead and put the chicken in the water and i do already have my stove on Normally I would actually use chicken drumsticks, so this is the first time that I'm not using them. And the only reason that I'm using this chicken breast is because I end up taking off all of the meat anyways, and I end up like cutting it up for the kids on the cutting board. So I figured it's not going to make a difference what chicken I use. And I'm going to end up cutting it up anyways. I'm also going to add the potatoes in here at the same time. The potatoes are in. I'm also going to add my onion in here. And I'm going to mix this up just a tiny little bit. Now I'm going to add my chicken bouillon. You guys, I don't do any measuring. Um, I'm sorry. This is just how I've always done it. I feel like it comes out good every single time. If I had to guess, maybe like a tablespoon. And I actually don't have a ton of garlic powder in this container, so I'm going to add it all. And I have another one in my pantry, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Go ahead and stir this a little bit. I'm going to add the oregano leaves, just a little bit, not too many. And now I'm going to let this boil before I add the rest of my vegetables. You can totally add whatever vegetables your family likes to eat. Alright guys, it is now boiling and before I add the rest of my vegetables, I'm going to quickly strain some of the stuff that's on top with my little strainer. Alright, so now I'm going to add the celery and the carrots. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Addy, can you actually help me? Slowly. You don't want it to splash because it's hot. The more veggies, the better in my opinion. I don't really need more. Yeah. Let's get all of these in there. Whoop. And I know it looks a little bit overflown and everything, like it's about to spill, but it's totally fine. All of these veggies are going to make this taste so good. And now I'm just going to cover this up and let it boil again. Then I'm going to go ahead and taste it once it's boiled, see if it needs more salt. And then I'm also going to see if the potatoes are done cooking. If they're not, I'll let it keep cooking a little bit longer until they're done. And then the soup will be ready. The caldo is done, you guys. We let it sit for a little bit so that it would cool. I just served a couple of us. Uh, Nathan's probably going to eat in a little bit. Now Julio's helping me pull apart the chicken so we can put it on top of our plate. All right.
right guys, it's Oreo time. I'm gonna show you how we make our air fried, deep fried Oreos. So obviously you're gonna need some Oreos. I have a plate here just so that I can place them on here before I put them in the air fryer. Powdered sugar and then you're gonna need some jumbo biscuits or you can also use a dough sheet. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna preheat it real quick and I will start assembling. Babe, I need your help. This is why I need Julio, because I don't like opening these. Anybody else? I throw them on the floor when I'm alone. <laughs> I can't do it by myself. <laughs> Put it on the plate, babe. I can't be far away, I don't like it. And you como nada. I showed you that video, right, babe, of the one girl who was talking and then it exploded on her while she was talking? Yeah. She wasn't ready. So I like these like buttery jumbo biscuits because personally I feel like th this makes it taste like an actual deep fried Oreo, but that's just my personal opinion. You're gonna take an Oreo, you're gonna put it inside the middle of your biscuit, lightly press because you don't want your cookie to break, and then you're just going to like bring over the dough and start pinching it and you're just gonna do it all the way around really easy just like pinch it mush it together and then in the middle you want to make sure that you completely seal it or it's gonna open while it's cooking and that's it then you're done So just in case you didn't seal the bottom correctly, it will be at the bottom and it's not going to open up on you because I have had that happen to me. And you want to space them out just like that. You're going to do 8 minutes at 350 degrees and then you're going to have some amazing deep fried Oreos in your air fryer. And just like that, eight minutes later, boom! They're done, they're crispy, they're golden, they're delicious. You want them? They're almost done, baby. We gotta let them cool. This is just the first batch. I wouldn't recommend like stuffing them all in there, crowding them, because you want them to get like puffed up like this. You don't want them to be smushed. And now you want to add your powdered sugar before they cool down. I like to do it when they're nice and hot right out of the air fryer. I'm gonna just do a bunch, nothing fancy. I already have a spoon in my little bag. They smell so good, you guys. I promise you, if you try this, you will not regret it. They are so good, you guys. Babe, tell them how good they are. <laughs> I swear, you guys, I'm not making them say it. He's actually not a fan of the jumbo biscuits. He likes the rolled sheet. I like to make them like this because I think they actually taste. Ah. Yummy? Mm -hmm. My mouth is watering. Okay, I gotta make the rest of them. We have these over here I'm gonna throw in here. But you guys, this is seriously so easy. It's a great dessert. It takes eight minutes. We make this all the time. Well, I make this all the time for us. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've shown you guys my face. Because I made us Oreos. Yes. Let me see, I'm gonna take a bite. Let me know. Burn myself. Mm. Mm. So good. I can't even tell you how good these are. Let me know down in the comments if you guys try this out or if you guys have a different recipe. Because of course I would love to try it. These are our leftovers, dun dun dun. That will be gone tomorrow because I'm gonna be home and I'm gonna eat them all, no? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I'm making a mess over here. <laughs> I want coffee, you guys, so I'm gonna use my percolator. My central perk sign fell, but I haven't fixed it. And I'm just grabbing my percolator. It's 8.30 in the morning and I'm tired. Like, I am dead ass tired, you guys. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, let me actually fix the lighting. So I added about two cups of water in here. Um, you probably can't even see, you guys. But that's okay. 
I'm just making enough for hopefully two cups of coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna take the little insert that goes in there and this is where I put the coffee. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside. Put the lid on it. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This wire is so old, I'm just like, trying not to electrocute myself but the little light is on down here and as soon as the coffee is done this light will turn off I'm just gonna wait I think it takes like five minutes maybe a little bit less so it's gonna heat it up in here you know it's gonna boil I'm gonna pour it and then the coffee is in oh it's already getting hot I actually bought it last year at a vintage Christmas pop-up all right guys it's time to pour the coffee let's see if I could do this with one hand <laughs> ta-da and this is a giant mug, you guys. That's why I'm not filling it up all the way. I am actually going to use my frother to froth up a little bit of my creamer. This frother is from Amazon. Just a little bit, not too much. And there it goes. You can already see it. it's already starting to get nice and frothy and whipped. I'll leave the frother down in the description box if you guys are interested. I always try to link as many things as I can in the description box, so if you guys are ever curious, just go ahead and check the description box. And I only did a little bit, like I said. I didn't want a lot. And here's my coffee for the day, so cheers, guys. All right, guys, I am going to start editing now, and I still have a little bit of coffee left. It was so good. I am gonna check in with you guys later this afternoon. I'm gonna get this video edited. Hopefully I can get it uploaded. Yes? Because it's not Christmas yet. He's gonna bring your presents when it's Christmas. Ah, be careful. Okay, calm down. You excited for him? Yeah. So hopefully I will also be able to upload it tonight. Um, then I can work on the thumbnail and the description box tonight so that I can make it public tomorrow. That's kind of typically what I do. I edit all day and then I work on my thumbnail and my description box separately. And I think that's it. Um, I'll just check in with you guys later because I need to also clear out my memory card, transfer files to my computer. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do and I still have to go through all of this footage. I have some clips in here that I haven't even put in here and I'm already at like over an hour. All right, you guys, now I really got to let you guys go because this memory card is literally about to be full. I will check in a little bit later. Let me see. What I want to buy Daddy a Christmas a, a racing big racing car. You want to get Daddy a racing car for Christmas? Yeah. Yeah? He came over here, you guys, while I was <laughs> editing, and he gave me a big old hug and said, Mommy, happy holidays. Hey, don't do that to the computer. What do you want to buy Addy for Christmas? A racing car too. <laughs> what about Libby? Uh, hey, don't do that. A, don't. A picking TT. A what? A TTT. A TTT? What does that mean? A thing. You want to get Libby a TV? Yeah. Boy. Okay, tell the vlog bye. Bye. You want to tell them happy holidays? Happy, happy holidays. <laughs> I'm back home from getting the kids and it is 4.40 right now. I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my leftover caldo. I have a one gallon Ziploc bag and I just kind of folded it over so that I can pour the caldo in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it. Hopefully I don't spill. I'm gonna get all the air out. I'm gonna zip it closed. I did spill but that's okay. I'll clean it up right now. This is what my bag looks like. I took out as much air as I could and I'm gonna put it in my deep freezer flat just like this I made sure to wipe the bag on both sides I've been doing this more recently and I found that this really helps when I want to make another caldo in the future because I already kind of have my base there's a tiny little bit of veggies in here and I don't want this to go to waste it freezes well it thaws out well it works out <laughs>
guys, I have some stuff from Walmart and TJ Maxx and from Dollar Tree. So we went out of town to do some Christmas shopping and some birthday shopping for Olivia. Her birthday is December 24th. If you guys can't tell, she's really into Frozen 2 right now. So we just got this door curtain decoration thing. She picked out these little Frozen rings. I found this little bow for her. Thought it was really cute so she can wear that. She's really into bows and this is like a really nice, good quality bow. We picked up some party favor necklaces. It's not going to be a party or anything. We're just going to be with Julio's family and his brother has kids. So then that way all the kids can get a little candy necklace. We got some tablecloths. We picked up four just in case. I don't really know if we're going to need them all. I also found some of these little balloons. I don't even know if Olivia has seen these yet, but they only had one pack of these. So I just snatched it up. She picked out this happy birthday crown. It's really sparkly and really pretty. And then I think it lights up. Cute. Let me look. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't know it, it lit up. Look at you see that? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. You wanna try it on real quick? Ta-da! <laughs> okay, back to the birthday stuff. We also got this happy birthday banner and then I believe it comes with these two like wall decorations. So this was all at Walmart, you guys, if you have kids with birthdays coming up and they like Frozen too. And then I picked these two silicone scrubbers. I have been wanting to switch our dish sponges for silicone ones. These were only like two or three dollars and you get two of them. They're both double-sided so I thought this was gonna be like great to finally try them out. We got a bunch of little like cereal bowls for the kids. We just got different colors. These were 50 cents each which was a, such a great deal. And then over here Livy picked out this little braid ponytail thing. We got two of these frozen two small plates and then just one pack of these big purple ones. You just saw them? You like them? And then I picked up some napkins. Adeline picked out these Reese's trees. She's doing a Secret Santa in class. The teacher had them write down their favorite drink, their favorite candy, and their favorite snack. And then they had two options for each. We got some bows for decorating. And then over here, we got some stuff from TJ Maxx. I highly doubt your mom watches the vlog, right, babe? Huh? I don't know. I doubt it. Yeah, so I highly doubt that she watches the vlogs, so I'm gonna show you guys part of her gift. We did already get her something else, but Julio wanted to get her a couple other little things, and of course he needed my help. <laughs> so we got her this mini jade roller, and this was $4.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal for one of these. I also picked out this Dr. Jart BB sunscreen. So I've heard a lot of great things about this brand. I've personally never tried it. Uh, how much was this? $14.99. And then this Ole Hendrickson eye gel. And this was $12.99. And then for Adeline's teacher, she loves Snoopy. So we found this mug at TJ Maxx and it comes with like hot chocolate or hot cocoa. And this was only $7.99, which I thought was a great deal. I picked out these little cookies as well for Olivia's teacher. These were $3.99 and I am gonna be giving her some other things, but I just thought these cookies were so cute. So this is everything from Walmart and TJ Maxx. Then over here we have Dollar Tree. I got some holiday gift boxes. Thought these were really cute, same pattern. I kinda wanna keep some of these and frame them for next year. So they're just so cute. I had to pick up some lint rollers because I'm going crazy over here with Bash's dog hair. I also picked up four packets of these flossing toothpicks. So another thing that Addie picked up was this bag of Cheez-Its. And originally she had picked out these recess cups, but we're just gonna eat these here at the house. And that's why at Walmart she got her the trees. So she's gonna give her that big bag instead. And the last thing that she picked out for her secret Santa was this Sprite. I picked up these little facial wipes that I wanted to try. I picked up three two packs of scotch tape. I picked up this little tin box. They had so many on the shelves that they had these, you guys. Livy and Addie and I, we were like looking and then all of a sudden they all fell on us. And then we had to pick them up one by one. And then they still kept falling. It was just embarrassing. Everybody was looking at us. And all because I just wanted this little tin box. Um, and nobody helped us. Nobody said, let me help you. Like nothing. So I picked up this Baker's Twine just for crafting purposes. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. I picked up two of these rubbing alcohol bottles. 
I've been wanting to get some to keep in our first aid kit. And I also picked up a peroxide. I picked up some pretty holiday tissue paper and then some white sparkly tissue paper just to have for gifts and for Poshmark as well. Like the white ones will work well for Poshmark orders. But that's it, you guys. I probably look like a hot mess <laughs> because, you know, I was wearing my mask earlier. I'm a little hot. I'm sweaty. We've been traveling. It was a four hour drive. Uh, sorry I didn't really vlog this weekend whatsoever. It was just so chaotic and so hectic. It is 5.15 right now. Um, I'm gonna go pick up Bash tomorrow from the kennel. <laughs> I'm just tired. I gotta put this stuff away. I did already sanitize everything. But now I have to put away Christmas gifts, sanitize them. I gotta hide Julio stuff away from him, you know, so he doesn't see it anywhere. Birthday gifts as well, so I gotta like put everything away. But yeah, I'm sorry uh, once again that I did not vlog. I really wish I would have been able to. I kind of regret not at least getting some clips from TJ Maxx because they had a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I'll check in later. Truck clean? Oh, somebody got a haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is my makeup is probably, how's it looking? Horrible, Great. sweaty, gross. Beautiful. Rubbed up. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm still mad at you for making me drive. I'll tell you guys about it tomorrow when he's not here so I could vent to you guys. <laughs> All right, I'll check in later. <laughs> it's time to put together the teacher gifts for the girls teachers and I have a pearl face mask right here I popped a little bow on it I have a little scrunchie hand sanitizer a Mario Badescu spray and a box of cookies as well as a card that Olivia made for her teacher and then here is the bag I'm gonna use That is what the inside is looking like. For Adeline's teacher, I'm gonna do the Snoopy mug, a card that she made, and a hand sanitizer. And then on this bag, I also put a bow. That's what the inside looks like. All right, guys, so here are the teacher gifts and the secret Santa gifts. I wrapped these all up for the girls. This is gonna be for Adeline's teacher. We have the three secret Santa gifts for Adeline's classmate. And then we have Olivia's teacher's gift. Let me know down below what types of gifts you like to give your kids' teachers. I like to give the girls' teachers every year a little Christmas gift just to say thank you for all that they do. Just a little something. So I'm curious to hear what you guys like to give your kids' teachers. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good night. All right, guys, it's 1030 at night, and I just made Olivia an ugly Christmas sweater for school tomorrow. I'm tired. I have glitter everywhere. I burned myself. I have all kinds of burns and cuts and stuff. I took an ugly Christmas sweater that I made for Addie like one or two years ago, and I took off a bunch of stickers that was on it because they were all messed up. And I just threw glitter ornaments, bows, glitter snowflakes. The bells were already on here, and then the trim was already on here. So hopefully she likes it. And that's what it looks like. You guys, it is grocery haul time. I just got home from picking up the girls. I actually sanitized and organized all of this right before I left to go get them. I just wanna show you guys what I picked up for the week. Of course I had to get some more Oreos. I picked up two of these 12 mini cupcakes for Olivia's class tomorrow. I got some Sunny D, some cuties, some more of my favorite creamer. Sour cream for Julio, he's gonna be making his New York cheesecake and he needed sour cream. He also needed four blocks of cream cheese. So I got two packets of drumsticks and then I got two packets of pre-cut chicken breast. I got some candles for Olivia's birthday, a bag of M&Ms because I'm gonna be making some Christmas crack, I think is what it's called. So I'll be making that tonight and I'll show you guys how I make it. I got 24 eggs. One of these like cookie sheet things. Some frozen pizzas for the kids. I got four cheese ones. I got these crunchy rice squares. These are gonna be for that Christmas crack. I also got some mini pretzels. And I got four containers of olives for my mother-in-law. I actually bought those yesterday. She's gonna use those for the tamales. I picked up some mini Gatorades for the kids. Yesterday I didn't vlog because it was a very, very, very busy day. I had to go pick up Bash from the kennel. Then I had to go pick up my in-laws from the airport. Then I had to get the kids from school. Then we came home, waited for Julio to get home. We had dinner. Then we went to hang out with them at their house. We got home late and then I just made Olivia's ugly Christmas sweater. Look us. <laughs> I think that's everything. I gotta put all this stuff away. And yeah, so I'll check in with you guys a little bit later.